Yeah. Lions lose to the St. Louis Rams. 21-14. I'm going to start off by saying this. Congratulations, St. Louis Rams. Did you beat us? I didn't expect. Well, I kind of did, but I kind of didn't expect this shit. It's funny that they, they snapped their losing streak against us. Isn't that funny? <sighs> Congratulations, Rams. Ty Gurley went to work on us. He wrecked shop against our sorry-ass fucking linebacking core. Um, in our deep, in our front seven. We were just terrible. Our defensive play calling was shitty. We couldn't stop the run to save our life. And I'm not making it no excuses. No fucking excuses. Last week, I had the right to make an excuse. This week, I'm not making no fucking excuses. No fucking excuses. They all played us. They all played us straight up. No bullshit. Congratulations, man. But Lions, I'm going to say this right now. If you're a fan of the Lions, just don't watch these fucking games. Show the ass. Don't go to the games. Don't watch their ass. Don't do shit. They don't deserve. They don't deserve our our eyes to watch this train wreck of a team. They don't deserve our money. They don't deserve shit. Man, I feel bad for the Lions fans that actually travel with the team. I mean, travel to go out to St. Louis just to watch the Lions get get fucking creamed in the fucking running game and shit. I I feel sorry for you, motherfuckers, for to see the Lions lose in that way. That's exactly why. That's exactly why I don't go to Lions games. It's not that I can't afford to. I can't. I got a job. I can afford to go to Lions if I want to. I just don't want to because the Lions they they fucking they lose too much, man. They just, I'm gonna pay all this money just to see them lose. Wasting my fucking money. On time I'm investing this team going to a game. They better be fucking winning. Straight the fuck up because they don't deserve my fucking money. Now I didn't like. The way the Lions played on both sides of the ball. They play like shit on both sides of the ball, especially defense. The defense was so fucking disappointing. This reminds me of the Minnesota Vikings game. Um when Adrian Peterson ran a billion yards on our ass. Same same type of deal. We gave up over 140 plus to Todd Gurley. We let Todd Gurley just single handedly basically kill us. So because this run defense wasn't shit. Steven Tuller can't stop shit. Fucking um, our other linebackers can't stop shit. Whitehead couldn't stop shit. You got our front seven can't. Our front four can't stop shit. We couldn't stop the run to save our fucking life. Yeah, we were stopping the run like in the first quarter and shit. But then after he started warming up, it was really over. He started doing some crazy shit on the lines, man. That's that goes to tell you our run defense ain't shit. Not in my opinion. Not when we go against a real running back. Our run defense ain't shit. And I ain't talking about no fucking the Eddie Lacy and all that shit. I'm talking about real running backs, real good running backs. The Adrian Petersons, the fucking Ty Gurleys, the Marshawn Lynch's, the fucking who else is good running backs? Marshawn Lynch's and the fucking um somebody else. There's other great running backs in the league. Le'Veon Bells and shit. If we go against any of them running backs, they're going to fucking torch the shit out of our fucking run, our fucking defense. And that's what Ty Gurley did. He ran all over this sorry ass run defense. Tuller couldn't tackle shit. Nobody couldn't tackle a fucking thing. People missing tackles and shit. Like, this shit was sickening. Shit was fucking sickening. Our defense was a fucking joke. Darius Slay was a joke today. He let Kenny Britt. <laughs> No, actually, Darius Slay had an interception, but that was a fluke-ass interception. We just play like shit, straight up. Nah, I just didn't like the defense all, as, as a whole. I didn't like the defense. The secondary couldn't tackle. Nobody can do shit. Straight the fuck up. We were stopping the pass, but we weren't stopping the run. They was running all over this fucking team. Defense was shitty. Terry also called a bad game plan. I didn't like it, so fuck it. Now, offensive side of the ball, they pissed me off the most, though. And coaching, the culture was just bad in this fucking game. Like, 
they made the culture made no fucking adjustments in the second half to, to turn the game around to play better. We just play like shit all around. Defense, offense, hell, even special teams weren't even that great. Special teams were shitty too. We kept we kept letting them motherfuckers pin us deep and shit. We kept letting them pin us deep and shit. Why the fuck we keep doing that? That's why that's another reason why it was hard for us to score. We kept being being pinned deep as fuck into the red into their red zone and shit. That's what was fucking us up. <sighs> Special teams was fucking garbage. Garbage. Now nah, the offense is out of the ball. Offense is out of the ball. Matthew Stafford, why the fuck you throw that damn pig, my nigga? Stafford, you Calvin, you try to throw it to Megatron or Calvin Johnson. You try to throw it to him. He wasn't even open. <laughs> And also, I'm mad at Stafford because he missed a couple receivers that was wide the fuck open. But he does that every game, though, so it's whatever. Um, yeah. He pissed me off. The team pissed me off a little bit. It's not only Stafford. People, they kept talking about how Stafford broke the record in this fucking game. He broke the – he's the fastest quarterback to get the 25-plus thousand yards. Who gives a fuck? No, no, seriously. What Lions fan or fan in general gives a fuck about that record? We don't give a fuck. If we, if we ain't winning shit, that record don't mean a goddamn thing. It don't mean shit if you don't get the W. I don't give a fuck. Half of them yards that he got in the past was, was due to because he was down in the game and he had to get garbage yards. Nobody gives a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that fucking record. And then what pissed me off about the uh, Lions, they pissed me off because they took that football from that fan. With, um, Golden Tate gave him that ball, gave him that football, the fan, the football in the stands. And, they, and the security going to come back down to go get the bitch. Like, fuck out of here. That's some bullshit. Just because he broke the record, nobody gives a fuck. We still lost. That, <laughs> you might as well let him keep the ball. Shit. He could have gave he could have gave that shit to his kids or some shit, the trip to cherish and shit. Or he could have cherished it for his life. Fuck y'all, y'all gonna get that ball back just for y'all to lose. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody gives a fuck about that record, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck that record. Fuck that passing yard record. Nobody gives a shit. I don't give a fuck about that record. Nah, we came out with a fucking W. I mean a fucking L. A fucking L. Stafford was a joke in this game. But it wasn't his fault. The play calling was shitty. It was shitty and the offensive line was mainly shitty too. So, yeah. The offensive line throughout the entire game was fucking trash. You let Aaron Donald, you let his ass just come in and just wreck shop on Stafford. This deep, the offensive line is... I told you our offensive line is still garbage. We still shitty as fuck on the offensive line. Reef, garbage. Lincoln Thompson, garbage. Swanson, he fucked, he singly fucked us out of the game with that fucked up snap in the fat fourth quarter. Fuck that. You garbage, nigga. You garbage. Warford, you straight. You all right. Um, oh, Michael Ola. Mm, he was okay somewhat. But it was putting they was missing them in and out of the lineup, but trash. Overall this offensive line is still fucking garbage. Lincoln Thompson is probably the biggest the biggest bust offensive lineback offensive lineman that we ever drafted. Besides Rodney Reef, of course. This dude is straight up garbage. Lincoln Thompson, he gave up two sacks today. Gave up two fucking sacks. Just getting blown off the ball and shit. Letting these motherfuckers blitz Stafford and shit off the A-gap and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all suck. Y'all fucking blow. Fucking blow. Lincoln Thompson is a joke. He can't block no fucking body. I probably can blow past his ass. He's fucking sorry. Can't block shit. And Reef is so fucking trash on that left side. It's not even funny. Now, nah, another thing on the offensive line, the offense that pissed me off. 
the entire offensive line should be shifted to motherfucking Africa to just to starve to death because they suck ass. But anyway, another thing that pissed me off was the play calling in this game. The play calling was so shitty. You got, you got um, Calvin Johnson. He didn't get that many catches. We didn't, we didn't take no shots down the field. We didn't throw down the field at all. At all. Every damn near every throw we pat, every pass we did was a fucking dink and dunk type of pass, or it was a fucking screenplay. It was a screenplay, some screenplays and shit, a bunch of bubble screens, fucking running back screens and shit. That that same type of bullshit that that Lombardi be calling that bullshit. He ain't taking no shots down the field, playing like a pussy on the offensive side of the ball. I don't want to see that shit. See, that's why Lombardi ass got fired, because he, he played like a pussy on the offensive side of the ball. They don't want to take no shots down the field. Fuck that bullshit. You got Megatron. Use him. Use him. You got Megatron. Use him. You didn't use him enough. Use him. You got probably the top three receiver in the NFL. Use him. The fuck? Shit pissed me off. I know he dropped the pass, but damn it. Give him the damn ball, man. That's another problem I have with this team. They didn't take no shots down the field. They played scared. And then what tops it off to make it worse, the play calling for Jim Bakuda or Caldwell, both of their ass. They, the Lions was running the ball pretty well in this game. But guess what, though? They went away from the run for no reason. No reason whatsoever. Amir Abdullah was running the ball pretty damn good. Him and Joy Bell. And even Riddick was running the ball pretty decent. They was running the ball pretty good. But for some reason, you just complete when the running game working, you just completely abandon it for no reason whatsoever. Caldwell did his shit. He does this shit time after time after time after time after, time after fucking time. He does it again. Just to just to please Matthew Stafford and his statistics. Fuck them statistics. Fuck Jim Caldwell. Seriously. Fuck you. Because that, that's bullshit. You got Amir Abdullah just, car, just cutting it, carving up the fucking Rams defense and shit, running the ball, but you you just completely wash that away and don't don't stop using Abdullah for no reason. But you said this week he's going to get more touches. He ain't getting no more touches. He got less touches than last week. Why the fuck you just stop running the damn ball? See, this is why this coaching staff is going to get fucking fired and get booted out of the fucking door. Because they, they call some bullshit. Straight up. They don't know how to call shit. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. When the running game working, usually the running game ain't working. But this time, it, it was working. It was actually working. But you just completely abandoned what was working for you to do something that won't work at all. What sense that makes? That's stupid. Jim Caldwell's a joke. I hate Jim Caldwell. He's the worst coach in the NFL. He's fired his bastard. Please, Martha Ford. Please fire him. He's garbage. And then his time management is garbage too. Fire him. He needs to go. He's he's done. He's he's garbage. Send his ass back to Penn State or motherfucking wherever the fuck he came from. Send him back to the college because he sucked dick as a coach. Send his ass back. He's fucking trash. Trash ass coach. Get him the fuck out of here, man. Jim Schwartz wasn't even this fucking shitty and play caller. This guy just fucking trash as fuck. But, man, that's all I have to say, man. Congratulations to St. Louis Rams. You outplayed us straight up. I know that one call with Theo already that chop block, that was some bullshit call. I'm not going to lie, but that's no excuse. Oh, yeah, another thing that cost us the game was the fucking penalties. We had too many penalties to come back in this game. Too many fucking penalties. That's why we lost, too. But that one that one chop block, I'm not even going to trip over that shit, even though it wasn't even a chop block. I'm not going to trip over that shit. They straight up our played us. I'm not making no excuses. They won the game. Congratulations, St. Louis Rams. I know you should be happy about this win. But I'm not happy about this loss, so that's all I have to say in this video, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, man. Sub up, like the video. I'm up out of here, man. Peace out, man. I, this team ain't even worth my fucking time. I shouldn't even watch their ass next Sunday. I should do something productive. Fuck this shit. Peace out, man.